Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Got two games on the slate. Uh, game two. WNBA playoffs, uh, a little recap of the first game, Connecticut blew them out, 69-93, they won. Uh, Indiana shot 40%, Connecticut just about 50, 49. Three-point percentage, Connecticut 50%. Uh, struggled the fever, 21%. Turnover was almost the same, rebounds destroyed. Connecticut got uh, 36 Measly 29. But, uh, yeah, poor contributions from the FIBA team. Only the three main players really had anything going. Check that out. Uh, Elijah Smith had no points. She only played nine minutes, one rebound. Boston had a decent game, 17 points. That's higher than her average. 11 rebounds, three assists. Uh, Mitchell... 21 points, uh, five assists, three rebounds. That's, you know, that's kind of average game for her. Uh, Clark on the average, 11 points, eight assists, four rebounds. Two for 13 from threes, shot poorly. Definitely could <clears throat> play better. Uh... As far as Connecticut goes, Bonner showed up like a veteran, 22 points. Uh, Thomas, triple-double. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Excuse me. Carrington, 14 points, five boards, three assists. Then uh, Mabry balled out, 27 points. Three assists, three rebounds. So, yeah, it's all I want to go home for the fever. And... I think they're going home. But uh, I got some player props. Uh, you know, WNBA up in the air for me. I don't know. Damn if I do, damn if I don't. Uh, decided to go with Mabry over two and a half threes. It's about even money. Uh, Indiana is 11th, almost last place. They allow a lot of threes. Mabry's a good three point shooter. Uh, She's exceeded two and a half threes in four of the last five games versus uh, uh, bottom five defense for threes. She's probably going to start. Uh, Taisha Harris, game time decision. She sprained her ankle last game and only played like four minutes and she was out. As well as the other guard is out. Uh, Tiffany Mitchell. <clears throat> Excuse me. She got an illness. She's sick of this shit, right? I would be too. But yeah, so I decided to go with Mabry. Head to head, last two games, she's cleared this. She's putting up plenty of threes. 12 the last game. Uh, shot 42%. So if she plays the whole game, she should go over it. <clears throat> Even if she don't play the whole game, she's going over at two and a half threes. I did juggle between, you know, just like always, her assist, they got him at three and a half, but she only had three last game. But every other time she cleared it for the year, she's she's cleared it a lot. We played it a lot this year. Uh, Indiana does a lot of assists, so that could be a good play. Uh, they got her rebounds at two and a half and minus 160. Which she's cleared that a lot too. So, I mean, in reality, you can go with any one of them. I just decided to go with threes. Uh, so let's get it, maybe. Shoot that rock. Alright, so... Uh, Next up, Kelsey Mitchell, uh, rebounds over two and a half, plus 110 Fandle, 
sixty percent hit rate on Connecticut's great at rebounds, and so it's not really the reason why I'm picking this. Sixty percent hit rate for the last twenty days, twenty days, twenty games. She did hit it last game. She missed it the four games before, but she didn't play. I mean, she played, but she didn't play. But it's fucking do or die. Uh, you win or you go home. And if I seen anything from her, she fucking cares. She charged the ball. She's one of the few people in the WNBA that actually try and care. And it seems like they give it their all. Like, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm just watching the end of the game, with the fucking Vegas game, and I'm just so sick of people. Uh, it's crazy. Like, I wonder why. I wonder why they they don't get paid that much and and everything else. It's just look at how the fuck you guys play. It's ridiculous. Uh, some of them are great. Don't get it twisted, but maybe great on a Wednesday, a fucking Thursday, and they just forget how to play. And we've been dealing with this all year, and it's it's just like I've had enough. I'm so glad the season is over, for real. Like, if it wasn't so late right now, I'd be screaming. Fucking Christ. Uh, Kelsey Mitchell, she's going to hustle. She's going to try. Uh, at least I hope so. Uh, head to head, she has gone over this. The last two games, the games before that, she only played 20 minutes. This one was 30, which that's a lot of minutes. But like I said, she's going to be putting forth full effort. Uh, and I can see again the three boards, three loose balls, three aggressive, jumping at the rim and grabbing them. Uh, I was going to play her threes at two and a half. But uh, I believe she's going to hit them too. But I just think this one's this is the one I picked. Let's get it. Kelsey Mitchell. All right, next up. The cigarette. This has got me stressed out. Uh, no drugs, no drinking. Coming up on 17 months. Let's get it. Yeah, round of applause for me. Uh, seriously though, uh, I was being serious about that. 16 months clean on the 6th of uh, next month. But uh, Natasha Cloud points over 10 and a half. She's another one. She got hard uh, attitude uh, for the year. She's, you know, it's winner go home too for her. This is for the second game, Phoenix and Minnesota. She had 33 points last game. Uh, for the year, was she uh, 56% hit rate, averaging 11 points. Uh, last five, 80% hit rate. Last 10, 70. Head-to-head, -head, 75% hit rate. She's exceeded 11.5 points for the last five games. What I did was I all lined it back to 10.5. You can get it at 11.5 for even money. Any chance I get, I all line it back. Uh, Minnesota is ranked second in points allowed. They are good. We already know that, but uh, just gonna go over it. Um, might be Teresi's last game. You could probably look at something for her, but uh, this seems like the easiest play. So let's get it. Tasha Cloud, ten and a half points, all lines. All right, next up, uh, Kayla McBride, rebounds and assists over five and a half, minus 152. Uh, FanDuel, if you got bet 365, it's at minus 140. Uh, Phoenix, last place in rebounds, 11th place in assists to the guard, 12th and 11th, same thing. Gone over this 49% for the year. This last five games, three of the last five. Uh, just playing plenty of minutes. 
head to head. Smoked them every time this year. You could try to simplify it. Well, this is the simple way, but you could try to get more money if you play them single assist or rebounds, but this is definitely the way I would go. It's the way I'm going. So, uh, yeah, let's get it, Caleb McBride. Rebounds, assist. Uh, I feel like this is going to get bumped. At least the odds are going to go even higher. All right, so uh, Bridget Carlton rebounds over three and a half. Uh, minus, what is it, minus 102. Vandal. Phoenix last place rebounds allowed to the forward position at rank 10th. So forward uh, for the year, 61% hit rate. Uh, it's only one out of five in the last five games, though. Towards the end of the year. She did not catch them, but all them before that, I don't know if that was just effort or what. Head-to-head, uh, -head, last two games, she cleared this easily. August 28th, September 22nd, 6-6. Six six. Uh, she's exceeded 3.5 over the last five games, or it's the bottom five defense with rebounds allowed. Average at 4.2. Uh, she's been going over it. Every time we've played it, we've cashed this. Uh, so let's get it, Bridget Collin. I also like her threes. You guys know I played this whole year. Two and a half threes. She missed it. Shit, every time she's played them, she hasn't gone over it. Um, for the year. She has not met besides this in the beginning, and she wasn't playing as many minutes and stuff. But besides that, in the beginning, she has not missed this number more than twice in a row. Uh, I expect her to go over it. It's probably going to go over it fast, too. The other thing I was thinking is if you look, every time she had missed two, Next game back, she's hit four. She didn't hit it twice here. Next game back, she hit four. Uh, I was playing it here. If you've been watching, you remember. I missed it a couple times, and then I got on the rhythm. She'd miss it. She'd hit it. Miss it. She'd hit it. Miss it. She'd hit it. And that stayed on for a good two weeks. We were catching that. But, uh... Yeah, so two and a half, I believe she's going to do it. Uh, I want to sprinkle on three and a half. It's not really a play for you guys to play, but I'm going to just give it a shot. It could be like one of the last times. Let's get it. Three and a half plus 310. I'll throw 20 bucks on it. But, uh, yeah, her main play is the rebounds over three and a half. So, uh yeah, let's get it. Uh, if you could like the video, sorry for my little tantrum. Sometimes it's tough when you're watching games. That's why I really like controlling your emotions and sports betting is key. Uh, sometimes it's better to not watch the games at all. Because then you don't get emotionally involved. But uh, yeah, we just hooked both of them. The last two plays. And then the one earlier with, with uh, Laney Hamilton. She just looked like trash. Like she looked confused. I don't know what was going on, but, uh, yeah, so I watched it all in both games, and that should just have my blood pressure up. Uh, we got football coming out. Look forward to my football video tomorrow and my breakdown. All right, it's money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go.